Hello everybody, I would like to talk about our investigation on the fracture of 3D printed parts. Our research is entitled Fracture Studies of 3D Printed PLA Wood Composite and it is prepared for the 4th International Conference on Structural Integrity. This research has been performed in the Institute of Product Development at University of Siegen, Germany. This presentation includes introduction, which covers a brief overview of 3D printing technology, materials which are currently used in this manufacturing process, the advantages and limitation of 3D printing. I will continue by experimental tests, where I will describe a specimen preparation, mechanical experiment and the obtained results. The last part of this talk would be a short conclusion. Over the years, different manufacturing processes have been introduced. American Society for Testing and Materials and also International Standard Organization defined 3D printing as a process of joining materials to fabricate components from a 3D model data. They also classify 3D printing into seven methods, which are listed here. As can be seen, different materials can be used in these techniques. Here we present some main advantages and limitations of additive manufacturing. Based on the utilized technique, 3D printing is a fast process which has positive impact on the environment. Moreover, high accuracy and reduction in material usage are benefits of 3D printing technology. On the other hand, 3D printers are not large enough, therefore part size is one of the existing limitations in 3D printing. Moreover, Large components require post-processing and most of the 3D printed parts need some forms of cleaning up to remove support material from the build. This can be considered as a limitation in 3D printing. As already mentioned, material extrusion is one of the main methods of 3D printing. Fuse deposition modeling or FDM is example of material extrusion technology. In the FDM process, the melt extrusion method is used to deposit filaments of thermal plastic according to a specific pattern. In this figure, a schematic of a 3D Printing based on the FDM process is illustrated. In the FDM process, different printing parameters can be changed. In this slide, some of these parameters are summarized. For instance, printing speed, layer thickness, Nozzle temperature and air gap can be defined with desired values. Wall thickness can be defined, which is uh, limited by the filament size. However, it is often difficult to control all these parameters together, so it is important to investigate and determine effects of these parameters on the performance of the 3D printed parts. Let's go to the second section. In preparation of the specimens, a standard was used and the dog bone specimens were printed based on the ASTMS standard. Specimens dimensions are presented here. We used PLA wood material and printed intact and defected specimens with different raster directions. You can see the specimens are printed with three raster orientation and by the definition raster orientation is the printing direction relative to the loading direction therefore zero degree refers to the specimens which are loaded in the printing direction 
In this study, intact and defected specimens were printed, which are schematically illustrated in this figure, as manufacturing defects such as voids, gaps, or overlaps can be occurred during the fabrication. Here we have considered a missing extrudate as a manufacturing defect. It should be noted that the missing extrudates in the defected specimens are oriented with the raster direction in each group. Also, the missing extrudates in 45 degree and 90 degree specimens are 3 and 4 extrudates respectively in order to provide same defect area in all defected specimens. The table in this slide shows you some conditions of the 3D printed PLA wood parts in detail. It shows that in each raster orientation, in fact, and defected specimens were printed. In field density was set to 100% in all cases. It should be noted that the gaps in the specimens are oriented with the raster direction. Printing parameters such as nozzle temperature, printing speed, infill percentage, and layer thickness are summarized in this table. Uh, since layer thickness is equal to 0.2 mm and specimens are printed in 30 layers, so a specimen's thickness is 6 mm. In this study, we have printed six specimens for each configuration and there is a uniform properties within the After printing process, the specimens were kept at room temperature for one day and then we have conducted tensile tests on both groups of intact and defected specimens. For the tensile test, we use a hydraulic machine which was equipped with 15 kN load cell and all tests were carried out at the rate of 5 mm per minute ramp speed. The hydraulic operated ram with computerized recording facility provides load deflection curves of each sample till it breaks. A series of tensile tests on the intact and defected specimens were performed on the laboratory condition. Repeating the test on each group of the specimens and obtaining similar result confirmed repeatability of the test. In this slide, you can see a specimen under test conditions. In details, figure in the left side shows a specimen prior to the loading and right figure shows you a fractured specimen after applied load. Here, defected specimens with different raster directions before and after tensile tests are illustrated, as it's shown in specimens with 45 degree and 90 degree rasters, the fracture is oriented with the raster direction. It should be noted that all groups of specimens are not plastically deformed during the tests. In order to quantify the influence of defect on the mechanical behavior of the specimens, the load deflection curves of intact and defected specimens were obtained, which are shown in this figure. Based on the obtained results, defect on the specimens has led to a decrease in the failure load. The applied tensile load is increased almost linearly with displacement according to the specimen stiffness. Tests indicated that the intact zero degree specimen showed the highest failure load and the lowest failure load was belonged to the defected 90 degree specimen. Experimental findings demonstrated relatively a large reduction in fracture load was occurred in zero degree specimens. This can be related to the fact that the rasters 
in zero degree specimens are along the loading direction and these specimens showed highest strength. Thus, a defect can significantly change the mechanical performance of these 3D printed parts. Moreover, experiments confirm that increase in the raster angle leads to decrease in the strength and stiffness. The conducted tests showed that there is a sudden failure which is a result of fiber debonding through all layers. Therefore, alternating layup can prevent this type of failure. As a conclusion, I would like to review this presentation briefly. First of all, I describe additive manufacturing and materials which are currently used in this manufacturing process. Also, I mention advantages and limitations of 3D printing technology. In the second section, details of specimens preparation was presented where we used FDM technique for fabrication of samples. In description of experimental tests, detail of the tests are explained. Finally, as a result, I have demonstrated forced displacement curves of intact and defected specimen. We showed defects in the specimen with different raster direction led to reduction in the this work as a part of project a Smart Production Design Center, SMAP, is founded by the European Regional Development Fund. Thank you for your kind attention.